Hi, this is Robert Polenik, the owner of Brutal Iron Gym. In today's video, I want to show you three ways that you can improve dumbbell skull crushers. So the first way is actually to change the angle. A lot of people do them flat. Uh, you can actually get a better stretch and stimulus of the tricep if you do these at an incline. So I'm going to incline the backrest. You can do it 15 degrees, which is one notch up. Or you can move up another, which is 30 degrees. So I like this one a lot. Um, I will also switch it up between the 15 degree angle as well. So that's the first change. Now what we'll do is I'll splice in some videos to show you the change of this allows for a greater angle of opening between the torso and the upper arm bone. So when we lay flat, that angle of opening is only 90 degrees. So you're only going to get a certain amount of stretch load tension in the upper part of the tricep. When we lay on an incline bench, we can actually open up the angle more and therefore we can expose more of the upper fibers of the tricep and get them more involved. The other change we're going to make to this is we're going to be angling our hands and we're going to be angling our arms. So typically when we do this, people are laying down flat, their arms are going to be straight up and they're just going to lower the dumbbells to their ears. And then every time they come back up to the top, their arms are straight up and down and against gravity, there's no weight load. So when we do this, we're actually going to be angling our arms slightly back towards our ears. So I'll show you that in a second. Then what we also want to do is we want to change our hand angle. So most people, when they do skull crushers, their hands are neutral and their hands, the palms facing, and they just, again, they lower them down to their ears and back up. Well, what we can do is we can actually exaggerate the tricep involvement by rotating our hands actually slightly angled outward. So our thumbs will point slightly out. What that does is that eliminates some of the help of this forearm. And by angling my thumb outward, it puts more stress on that connective tissue of the tricep. So I'll go ahead and show you what a whole set of this looks like. So we have it inclined already. And then like we said, what I'm going to do in the starting position is instead of having my arms straight up against gravity, I can just sit like this and relax all day. That means my, not, my triceps are not tensioned. So instead I want to angle them back and now all of a sudden they have to turn on to hold that position. So this is my starting and stopping point. I'm then going to turn my hand slightly angled outward. So as I come down, I have a greater exposure of that upper tricep connection. And then I would squeeze back up and it's going to really pull and contract through that tricep connection. And by having my arms angled backward and by having myself on an incline, I have a much greater degree of opening between my torso and the upper arm bone. So I'm getting greater involvement of the upper triceps. So these are three ways that you can make dumbbell skull crushers more effective for tricep growth. Cool. So if you give those a try, I promise that you will feel it. I promise, promise, promise. So give them a try and let us know what you think. You can always email us with questions at brutalirongym at gmail.com. We also have a free daily podcast that has over 100,000 downloads, over 900 episodes, and it's all listener-driven. Whatever you want to learn about, we give a podcast. So you can check that out on all podcast platforms under the name Brutal Iron Gym. Okay, give these three tips a try. Uh, have fun. It's going to kick your butt, but it's going to give you nice, big, and strong triceps. So give it a try, and good luck.